The time is 640. Thankfully, nothing scary or spooky about today's forecast. There's this seven day forecast in general, too. Mm -hmm. It's really favorable. That's right. A few more clouds in the mix today. A cold front moves in tomorrow and then we're back to sunnier conditions, crispier mornings and more on the warmer side in terms of the afternoon. But get out there and enjoy it. We're taking a lot of now in downtown Macon. Temperatures sitting at 46 by noon will be in the upper 60s and by five o'clock, 75 and temperatures across the board now and the 40s for the most part, 46 in Macon, 47 in Winter Robins, 41 is pretty chilly there in Eastman, 49 though in Gordon, 50 in Milledgeville, and 50 degrees up there in Sparta. Dew point temperatures in the mid to upper 40s too, so a little bit more on the drier side. Might need a chapstick on your way out the door this morning, but that will change as we head towards the afternoon. Got that humid air coming in, which is going to provide cloud cover as we head towards the evening hours. But right now, the satellite and radar is looking clear. Got some clouds there in northern. Georgia and the cold front now just to our north and west slowly making its long way through the United States. But tomorrow we are under a level one of five on the storm outlook, mostly just for about four counties to our south and east. The main threat there and I use the word threat loosely because that would be gusty winds upward to 25 miles per hour max. But moving through the future view, you'll see we'll start out clear. Clouds to start to move in as early as 1 p.m. And then we could start to see a sprinkle here and there as we head into 7 p.m. Most people won't see rain, but we can't rule it out entirely. I put a 10% chance on the seven day. And then as we move into 1 a.m., so overnight into Friday morning, those clouds are going to stick around, meaning we're not going to be able to cool as much as we have been the past few nights. Therefore, we're going to wake up in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow morning with a cold front on our doorstep, bringing in some rain showers potentially a storm here or there, depending on how high those dew points are across central Georgia. So those will slowly track through at 7 a.m. Now moving into 9 a.m. Still seeing a few showers and storms in the mix. So be careful a on your way out the door tomorrow morning and B make sure you have that rain jacket. You might not need it on your way from school or after work, but you will need it in the morning by 4 p.m. We look to clear on out and as we head into Saturday, Sunday, we're back to those normal fall like conditions that we enjoy so much with some cloud cover in the mix on Saturday. Now, in terms of the wind gusts that I mentioned earlier, like I said, no more than 25 miles per hour wind gusts as we head into Friday. You can see the darker colors there briefly and then back into the teens as we head into 7 p.m. And in terms of temperatures, like I said, we're going to get into the 70s this afternoon. Tonight, we're not going to cool as much, only in the mid to upper 50s due to the cloud cover, and then we'll still get into the 70s after that cold front move on through. But that drier air will come in after that cold front, making Saturday and Sunday feel nice. Starting out in the 40s Saturday morning, back into the upper 70s Saturday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds in the mix on Sunday, but still feeling nice. Starting out in the 50s, getting into the 70s, and then that continues as we head into the beginning of next week.